Hey guys, welcome to the Blanca Project. Happy Wednesday. This video is pretty much us, you and I, going through my makeup and see and like trying to use things up that is old. So um, I want to go through some of my makeup that I have a lot of. Like I have a lot of eyeshadow, I have a lot of lip products. And so I want us to go through that and kind of see what I can use up in the next couple of months. That way I can get that out of the way and go on to something else. Um, so what I'm going to do, we're going to pick up a couple of things that we can use, that I can use for the next couple of months, and I'm going to put it in this little bag, and then this is going to be like my go-to, like my everyday makeup, um, and then just use all my other makeup like on special occasions, like glitter and all that, because obviously that's not going to be everyday makeup. So, um, hopefully you guys are interested in a video like this. Um, I really hope you guys are. I've been wanting to do something like this for a long time. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys stick around, I hope you guys continue watching. Alright guys, so here is where I keep all of my lip products. I have all my lipsticks in this pouch and then I have all of my um, uh, glosses and lip crayons on this pouch. And then right here I have all my eyeshadows. In this pouch I have all the little palettes that I have. And then this one I have all the individual, um, all the individual shadows. Let me show you guys. Okay, so we're going to start with the eyeshadows first, and the reason why I'm doing this is because, look, it doesn't close anymore. Alright, so I say we start with the eyeshadow, the little palettes that I have. Um, a lot of these are really old, like I've had them for like the longest time. Like this one's pretty new, and so is this one, so this isn't something I want to use up right away. Um, this is pretty new as well, but this one's really old. Um, this is the Revlon Color Stay in Addictive, and it's just pretty, pretty like brown colors, neutral colors. So I think I want to try and use that up. I also have another one that's a Revlon in a Revlon Color Stay in Spring Moss, and these are green colors. Now I don't see myself wearing a lot of this, so I'm gonna put this like right here. I'm not sure. This I've had forever. This is a little Avon palette, and if you guys look at it, you guys can tell I've hit pan on a couple of on uh, the eyeshadows, but there's still a lot left, so I should probably start using this. And this is the Avon 8-in-1 8 in 1 Neutral Tones. Yeah, so it's pretty much just all neutral, so I want to go ahead and use that up. I also have this Rimmel London um, Color Rush Trio Eyeshadow. And this is in the color Dreamy. And then these are the colors right here. It's all purple colors. Really, really pretty. So I might start using that. These two are pretty old too. So, wow, I have like a bunch of Revlon color stays. So I have another Revlon color stay here. And this is in the color Decadent. And these are the colors. So it's four pretty colors. I hope the lighting is okay. Please let me know if the lighting is not okay. Um, and these colors are just like purples, and then this one over here is kind of like a goldish kind of color. The next one I have is a Maybelline Expert Wear in the color Designer Chocolates. Is that right? And um, these are the colors right here. Yeah, so let's put these back. These I can use up on another time. These are the ones I have at the moment that I need to use up. I definitely need to use this up because it's super old. And I know makeup expires, but I don't see any expiration date on these. So I'm not sure if they're still good or not. I hope they are. So moving on to my single eyeshadows. I have a lot of single eyeshadows. Lots and lots these three pencils that I really like this one is such a pretty color this is from one of my ipsy bags this one I picked up at Ulta a couple of weeks ago. so let me take out the stuff that's pretty new this is my transition color that I use all the time or sometimes I use this Jessie's Girl so I'm gonna keep this on my stash to use on a daily basis okay so I also have these two other colors say um, Ma Maybelline color say tattoos and these are actually kind of pretty this is the fears and tangy and then the other color is a pomegranate punk so it's just pretty colors but I don't know that I would wear this on a daily basis I mean okay guys so I just swatched these two and these do not look like colors to me that I would wear on a daily basis so yeah these are gonna go in my stash for special occasions 
Um, I have had this a little um, eye color from Mary Kay for the longest time. And this is in the color Island Bronze. And this is a tiny, tiny size. It's super cute. It's kind of like a, my hands are full of glitter. Can you guys see that? Okay, so this is pretty much just like a cream um, eyeshadow, and this is the color right here. It is very pretty. Um, it's also very, very glittery, very shimmery, but it's not a bright color. So I think I could use this throughout the month. Um, this one's not something I would use every day. This one is actually a backup, and the other one's right here, so yeah. Okay, this definitely, definitely needs to go in my everyday stash because this I've had for years. And this is in the color Whip Mocha, Whip Cocoa, 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 I don't know. But this is also a Mary Kay um, eyeshadow, and it's just a, a classic brown, just a deep, deep brown. Very pretty, um, yeah, I use it a lot on my crease, so I'm going to use put this in my everyday stash too. And then the last two things are these two little um, eyeshadow packages. This one is from Ulta and this is called Sunkissed Blush. This is pretty new so I'm not going to put this in this stash. Not this time at least. And then this next one is a Smashbox Photo um, Eyeshadow Trio and it just has three little colors right here. Um, I am going to put this in my daily stash just because I want to see how it works. Because we are going to Vegas in the beginning of October. And if it works really good, I want to go ahead and take this just to save some space. So I'm going to put this in my daily stash. So that's it for the little single eyeshadows. I'm going to go ahead and put these five colors in. I don't know, can you guys see like a pattern? Like they're all neutrals, all browns. That's funny. So I'm going to put those in there and put these other ones away. Hey okay, guys, I feel very calm today. I think it's because we just ate and I'm full. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. Okay. So these are all my lipsticks. Um, this is just the lipsticks and my lip pencils, and then I have another pouch with all my lip glosses, like you guys saw earlier. So let's get into this. So I'm gonna take out the ones that I had for a long time. Oh, guys, did I ever get? Did I ever tell you guys this is a Mac lipstick? My only Mac lipstick I have. This is in Viva Glam. Michael, the um, Roman numeral in a V. That's a five. Yeah. Okay, so Viva Glam 5, I guess, um, and this I actually wore on our wedding day, and look what happened, guys. You can fix it. He's broken. I don't want to take it all the way out because it's broken. Anyways, I hardly ever wear this because it's very sentimental to me. Yeah, I like it. But anyways, yeah, I, yeah, this is a special occasion lipstick. Let's see. Let me take out what's not very new. Alright, so I took out all the colors that I think I've had for a long time or colors I haven't used in so long. Hey, Lily Pie. Can you come into the camera? Look. Look. Look up there. No? Oh, fine. Leave me. Leave me. Out of all of these, I think this is the oldest one. This is another Mary Kay um, Tinted Lip Balm. And this actually has an SPF of 15, so that's pretty awesome. And it also expired in 2011, so I should probably trash that. Hey, you think it's something inspired? I can't use it anymore? I have no idea. It expired four years ago. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> what do you think? Um, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> if your face falls off, it's not my fault. It's on my, it's for my lips. Mm. Put it on your hand and see if a gigantic... Hi, Max! I'm just kidding. If a rash appears, then I wouldn't use it on your face. <laughs> okay, thanks. Alright guys, so this might be something I might use. This is the Mary Kay Tinted Lip Balm um, with SPF of 15 in the color Natural. I already did a swatch for it for you guys. It's just a super, super, super light tint to it and it's kind of like a brown color, neutral I guess, um, like always. This did expire like I just said in 2011 so I don't know if I'm going to be using it. So I'm just going to put this to the side and see if I have any reaction to this and if I don't, then I'll put this on my lips. And another color that I've had for a really long time is this e.l.f. matte lip color in the color Tea Rose. And when I mean a long time, I mean like a couple of months and I like used it like once or twice. Um, yeah, so this one I've had for that long and I really need to just start using it. This one did break a couple of months ago. Um, maybe that's the reason why I haven't used it. But this is actually a really pretty color. Um, it says Tea Rose, and when I think of Tea Rose, I think of a really light pink color. But this is actually kind of like a purple color. I feel like it pulls more purple than pink, but that's just me. 
So yeah, that's one. So I'm going to put this on my side because that's when I want to use up. A lot of these colors are bold colors just because we are going into fall. Um, not that it gets any colder here, but you know, just saying. So the other colors I have, these two are Maybelline. Um, are these Maybelline? Maybelline number 445 and the color on the mauve. Or, yeah, on the mob. But this color, you know what, guys? I'm not too sure of it. I might have to um, wear it with something else. Because I feel like it has, like, a really great undertone. And I don't know how I feel about it. So it's this color right here. I feel like it pulls a lot of gray. So I'm not sure if it's something I want to use. Okay, the next one from Maybelline as well is the number 900 Hot Plum. And this is, like, a hot, like, pink color. Look at it, guys. Bam! That is a hot pink color, huh? <laughs> so yeah, that's something else that I should probably start using. Um, I might use it with something lighter underneath. That's, that way it's not that bright, so we'll see. Okay, the next one I have is a Sephora lip, lip um, lipstick. And this is a Sephora Rogue brand, and this is called OO. OO. And this is what it looks like. It's like a deep, deep red color, and let's swatch it. That's the color right there. I think it's very pretty. Um, again, it's a little too dark for me, but I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. This next one is also Maybelline. Anyways, it's the Maybelline New York 14-hour lipstick, and the color is Wine and Forever, I think? Number 100. By the way, guys, this smells amazing. Ugh. Smells just like candy. Hey, can you come here? No. Okay, can you smell this, please? Uh huh. What does it smell like? Like fart. No, it doesn't. Totally, no flavor. <laughs> what does it smell like? I don't know. Here, let's see. Kind of like, can we, the sour, like, sour patches. Sour like. patches? See, guys, it smells just like candy. It smells so good. So let's swatch this one. This is like a dark, dark color. Like, dark. Like, if I thought the Sephora one was dark, this is like, this is like way darker. Look at that. Super dark, right? Uh, this next one is an e.l.f. moisturizing lipstick in the color Ravishing Rose. This one, when I picked it up, I didn't think it was going to be this dark, so I haven't really used it, but I really need to start. And it's this third one right here. Um, it kind of looks like a tad bit lighter than the Sephora one, so I might start using this a little bit more often. Yeah, we'll see. And then this next one and last one is the Ulta one. And this is the number 239. I haven't used this hardly at all. But this is, wow, this is a really pretty pink color. And it's this bottom one. Wow, my hand is like all over the place. This bottom one right here. I think it's really pretty. I really hope. Look at all these glosses I have. Like, that's insane. I don't even know where to start with all of this. Holy moly. Okay, let me take out my newer stuff. Okay, guys. So these are the glosses that I need to start using. So this I got in a, in a Ipsy bag. I think this I got in my first Ipsy bag. So I really need to use this. This is just an Urban Decay pencil. And it's clear. And then it came with these two glosses. So I really just need to use them and get them out of the way. Okay, the next thing I have are these two Ulta lip stains. Um, they are in the color Fantasy and Romance. I've tried them a couple of times and I haven't had very much good luck with them, but I'm going to give them a try again. They have like a permanent, like a marker on one side and then a lip balm on the other. So I'm going to give them a try again, see how they work for me, um, and then we'll just go from there. I also picked up, again, when I was just starting to get back into the groove of wearing makeup. I picked up these three Provocalypse and these are from the Rimmel London brand. Now, I don't know how I feel about them. This deep color, which is the color Heartbreaker, didn't didn't work so bad. It was okay. But these two colors, the light ones, just were horrible for me. They did not look good at all. Um, the pink one is there to pink and then the darker brown one is skinny dipping. Um, yeah, these didn't work so well for me, but this red one did. So I'm going to give them a try again. And then this is what they look like. They both have, they all three just have a doe foot applicator for the color. And then the balm or the gloss has another doe foot applicator. 
So I'm gonna give them a try again, see how they work. Hopefully I get better results this time. Okay, these next glosses right here, I feel like we all know what they look like. These are the Dollar Tree brand glosses. This is the LA Colors Sheer Lip Gloss and the color Tropical Punch. This is really pretty. The thing I have noticed about these is that they're really, really thick. And I'm not a big fan of thick lip glosses because I just feel like they seem so heavy. Um, this other one is an Alice Ellen. Well, it's a, beauty, it's a beauty benefit, so it's a Dollar Tree one as well. Um, it's a lip gloss, and I cannot find the color, but it is a purple color. Um, so these are things I definitely need to use up. I also have this other beauty benefits um, gloss, and I don't know what color this is either, but it kind of looks like a goldish with sparkles. Let's swatch this up. And, you know, I did swatch it not so long ago, so it doesn't really, ha I know it doesn't have pretty much just any color. It's just the gloss. Can you guys see that? The next one is this Milani Hot Flash in the color Star Flash number 104. Then um, the color is just pink. And this is definitely like a frosty pink. I don't know how I feel about that. I'll give it a try a couple of times and we'll see how that goes. The next one is also this Beauty Benefits color lip gloss. And again, I don't know what color this is, so I'm sorry. But it is kind of like a reddish kind of color with sparkles all over it. Um, I guess red pink ish and um it has just like a little tint of color can you guys see that yeah so i have to give that a try is on um, this other color this other lip gloss is an ulta lip gloss yeah it's ulta and this is in the color pink sapphire um this is actually really pretty as a topper i've used it i used it a couple times um, it has, it just has the gloss, no sparkle, it's just the gloss and it's this pink one right here. It's actually really, really pretty and it's super duper light. You can wear this by itself or with a lip liner underneath and it would look so pretty. But I definitely need to use that up. This is another Mary Kay product that I've had for the longest time. If you can't tell, I used to wear a lot of Mary Kay guys, a lot of it. And I probably should again because it was so good. Um, and this is a lip gloss in the color Sweet Raisin. And this is more of like a goldish, bronzy color. I'm not a huge fan of those, to be honest. But I'm going to keep on playing with it and see how I feel about it. It's this down right, right here. So guys, can you guys see the sparkle on my hand? I literally have glitter everywhere. <laughs> okay, so the last lip product I have right here is this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color, in the color Ant Warp. And this is what they look like. These are amazing. They smell so, so good. Um, but I hardly ever go for them. But this color right here, I always, whenever I swatch it, I feel like it's super bright. But whenever I see pictures of other girls wearing it, I think it looks so pretty. I just don't think it suits me. But I'm going to keep, like I said, with all the other ones, I'm going to keep on playing with all these colors. And see where I end up with them because, who knows, I might get some more favorites out of this stuff, you know, and it's just there. It's collecting and I'm not using it and I really need to get use it. Okay, guys, look at this. This one was filling up too much and all my lip products didn't fit in there, so I had to get another bag. I know. I know. Thanks, guys. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know this is a little bit different than what I usually do in my channel, but I hope you guys like it. I've been, like I said, I've been wanting to do something like this for a really long time and just hadn't done it, but I figured I'd just do it now just because I really wanted to. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys had a good time. I'm sorry if I'm a little dull, but I honestly feel super full. Um... Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram. Um, my name is uh, The Blanca Project on Instagram. I haven't uploaded that much, but I'm trying to get back into it. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I will see you guys very, very soon. <laughs> Bye, guys.